Hey guys, welcome back. If you've uh, seen my previous videos, you'll know that we're here working on the 2013 Subaru BRZ track build project. Uh, today we'll be putting Stop Tech Sport Kit on the car to uh, get the brakes in line to get ready for the February 24th uh, 86 Cup Challenge Day at uh, Thunder Hill. So yeah, I just wanted to say hi. I finally introduced myself since I've been behind the camera the whole time. I put myself in front of the camera today, a little bit out of my comfort zone. My name's Scott, and uh, yeah, here we go. Here's my build. So one thing we talk about a lot, I'm a professional chef uh, by trade, but one thing that's uh, very important to my career at least, and I know to a lot of mechanics, is what we like to call in cooking uh, mise en place. So having everything in place is what it literally translates to. So I like to lay out all my tools and everything before I get started, gloves, torque wrench, everything that I need for the specific job. And that helps me uh, really stay organized and keep clean and tidy and uh, just really have a nice uh, working area. So I've got everything laid out here. So fronts, rears, Motul RBF 600 brake fluid, brake cleaner, Mighty Vac, uh, vacuum uh, pump for, to help bleed the ki to help bleed the brakes without uh, any assistance torque wrenches flare nut wrench for the brake lines gloves there's a little snapshot of a couple things that I've got laying around that I also need to get to including the ace club sport 123 millimeter crank pulley which I'll hopefully be getting around to either this week or next week uh, Sparco steering wheel from an old build that I had, Mishimoto radiator. I know a lot of people don't like Mishimoto, but it's certainly an upgrade over the factory one at least, so we'll uh, get that installed here soon. Some M-Tech uh, short shifter springs that'll help complement the uh, IRP uh, race short shifter. Quick little look around the garage. It's not much, but it's growing on my jack. Got the 86 at BRZ, little uh, shop art, if you will. So yeah, let's get this thing started. We'll get it up on jack stands and we'll get to it. Step one, just getting all the getting the car up on jack stands, getting everything removed. Take a look at the old factory brake rotors. They're pretty beat up. They're not gonna last at all on the track. So uh, yeah, let's get them uh, replaced. All right. So what we got to do the job is uh, some slotted StopTech Sport uh, rotors. They're uh, centric rotors that StopTech does to their spec and uh, adds nice slots to help clean off the pads. Then uh, got StopTech Sport brake pads, which I know aren't serious track pads. These will be only used probably for my first event and then street driving. Uh, I plan to use probably some Winmax uh, W5s for uh, track duty, and I'll just switch back and forth in between. I don't mind. I know a lot of people get weird about it and say, oh, if you're going to run a track pad, then just only run a track pad. But... Uh, this is my daily driver and my only vehicle, so I got to do what I can. Also, uh, Stop Tech created stainless lines, which uh, rate as some of the best in, on the market. And uh, my favorite uh, Motul fluid. I run the 300V in the car, as well as their Gear 300 oil for the trans and diff. Uh, this is their 600, which again, I know isn't. They're top of the line for track duty, but it'll do. So yeah, that's uh, where we're starting, and we'll uh, upgrade as necessary, obviously, as I get more track time under my belt and need more brake to go faster. Unfortunately, as you see, this was a Chicago car, so there's a lot of rust here that we deal with on this car. So I'm going to try some PP Blaster and 
the old breaker bar. Try to get the 17 millimeter uh, brake caliper carrier bolts loose. But yeah, this is a thing that I deal with a lot. So also part of the reason that I'm replacing so much on the car is to uh, get rid of these salty road, northern Chicago rust issues, which just absolutely plague every project on this car. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going at it. All right, so uh, PV Blaster and the breaker bar seem to be the answer. You got one of them cracked loose. See if I can get the other one. When I was doing the exhaust install on the car, I literally had to cut the overpipe and header off because everything just was rusted together, all the studs. So I'm used to I'm used to this. We go through a decent amount of PP blaster in the garage. Alright, so here's the old rotor. There are Pretty rough. I mean, that used to say made in Japan right there. But uh, yeah, now it's just rust. So we get those replaced with some nice shiny new rotors. It'll uh, really help the car throughout all situations daily driving, uh, you know, track use, whatever. Just to get an idea of what these cars look like when they've lived in Chicago forever. That's all the back side of the caliper and uh, or sorry back side of the rotor. So I'm gonna PV blast and clean some of this stuff up with a wire brush and get it all nice and tidy. Alright so as normally happens when you start working on cars something breaks. For me it was the brake shoes on the passenger side, rear. So this, this is a broken one. It's all rounded off and uh, was not holding it in place. That's more of what it's supposed to look like. So somehow, something went wrong. So this looks like this is gonna be a two day install now. And uh, yeah, here we go. Another uh, rusty Chicago car adventure. This stuff sucks, but hey, I mean, it's part of what happens, so we'll just have to deal with it. Have to hit up O'Reilly and get uh, some brake shoes and a whole hardware kit and everything for it. it sucks. But I got the fronts done. So. Got all the rotors on, stock tech sport pads, got the uh, braided stainless lines in, passenger side, driver side, all nice and tidy. I'm gonna get up in here and clean all this stuff out while I'm in here. Just get it nice and good looking. So, yeah, kind of sucks, but. I'm gonna keep checking away on the passenger rear. Hope I don't run into anything on this side. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, so we got the uh, passenger rear all squared away. Luckily, uh, didn't run into the same emergency brake issues that I did with the other. Got the parts ordered for uh, the passenger side. Unfortunately, it's gonna take two days to get the hardware kit when I can get the shoes tomorrow. Uh, for some reason the hardware kit is special order and they don't think that you need that with the shoes who knows uh, part stores but uh, yeah so we got the rear is all buttoned up on this side at least so yeah three corners out of four not so bad for considering the amount of rust and stuff that we deal with it, just kind of sucks. Hopefully on the uh, newer cars or California cars people don't have such a big problem with rust but I mean, like I said this is a used 2013 that I got 
at a dealership outside Chicago, and yeah, it just, I mean, the salts up there are so hard on cars, and just cause a lot of issues when you're trying to work on them. Um, but slowly we'll get everything replaced that is all rusted out and kind of skanky. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to continue this in a couple days and uh, finish the job. All right, I guess we'll uh, say goodnight to her for now and we'll uh, deal with it in a couple days, finish everything up. See you then.